What about us, Mr. Downtown Ray Molly? You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Tim Allen says Disney reached out to him about Toy Story number 5. The seven-year-old actor discussed the possibility of a new sequel during Tuesday's episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Allen voiced Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story from 1995, and its sequels Toy Story 2 from 1999, Toy Story 3 from 2010, and Toy Story 4 from 2019. On The Tonight Show, Allen said Disney approached both him and Tom Hanks, who voices Woody in the franchise. The actor said of the sequel, Bob Iger, the head of Disney, said it was on. He said it was going to happen. He added, they have reached out to Tom and I to reprise the roles. They're not saying anything about it. Alan has wondered if five is going to be too much, but said that the writers working on the sequel have some interesting ideas. He says the writers that are doing it um, wrote one of the best, the better ones. He said, if I didn't get on this right, I wouldn't do it. So it could be a very, very interesting way to reunite. Alan shared his ideas for a sequel in an interview with the movie uh, Dweeb last week, featuring uh, suggesting that the fifth movie feature an adult, Andy, and his children. Alan most recently starred in the Santa Claus season two, which premiered on Disney Plus earlier this month. Nicole Kidman and Antonio Banderas have joined the cast of a new erotic thriller at 824. Other reports said Tuesday that Kidman, Banderas, and Harris Dickinson will star in Baby Girl, a new film from Bodies, Bodies, Bodies filmmaker Helena Regine. Regine wrote and will direct the new movie, which also features Sophie Wilde and Jean Reno. Baby Girl explores the powerful dynamics and sexuality through the story of a powerful CEO, played by Kidman, who begins an affair with an intern, played by Dickinson. Uh, Regine will produce with David um, Hindusawa, with Julia O, oh, Zach Nutman, and Christian D'Souza Gleb as executive producers, Deadline reported. A24 confirmed the project by retweeting the casting news. Range previously collaborated with A24 on Bodies, 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 which opened in August of 2022. Sony Pictures revealed on Tuesday that its new Karate Kid movie would star both Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan. The film is expected in theaters next year. Macchio and Chan appeared in a video together announcing the casting search for a new Karate Kid. Macchio stars in the first three movies and Cobra Kai series, while Chan starred in the 2010 remake with Jaden Smith. The casting call at KarateKidCasting.com calls for the new Li Fong. The film is seeking a Chinese or mixed-race Chinese boy ages 15 to 17 who speaks fluent English and potentially is bilingual in Mandarin. Sony announced a new Karate Kid movie in 2022. Kobukai co-creator John Hurwitz says that the show's creators are not involved and it is a separate entity from the show. Cobra Kai has operated on the assumption that the remake took place in a different universe. A Karate Kid 2 was in the works after the success of the 2010 film, but Smith is now 25. It is fitting that Chan and Machio mentioned finding the next Karate Kid, as there was a fourth movie starring Pat Morita as Mr. Miyagi called The Next Karate King. Uh, the film starred Hilary Swank as a troubled teen. Miyagi trains in karate. Ariana DeVos took to the stage on Good Morning America. The 32-year-old singer and actress performed the song This Wish during Wednesday's episode of the ABC Morning Show. DeVos gave the special performance at Disneyland Paris accompanied by live musicians. This Wish is a song from the animated Disney film Wish, starring DeBoss, Chris Pine, Alan Tudyk, Angelique Cabral, Victor Garber, and Natasha Rothwell. The movie, in, the movie opened on Wednesday. DeBoss, who voices Esha in Wish, attended the film's London premiere this week. 
The boss wrote out Wednesday on Instagram, which is your today. I'm so grateful to this cast, creative team, and the over 100 animators and everyone at Disney Animation who poured their heart and soul into our beautiful film. As she has a sweet girl, I love you, your heart, your mind, and courage. May your inspire others as you have inspired me, which is now available in cinemas. I hope you'll share it and its message with those you love. The boss performed this wish in a teaser for Wish released in October, which follows Asia, a teenage girl who wishes on a star to help her save her kingdom. Netflix is teasing the new show, The Gentleman. The streaming service shared first look photos for the series Tuesday featuring Theo James and Kaya Solidario. The Gentleman is based on the 2019 film of the same name, which was written and directed by Guy Ritchie and starred Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Henry Golding, and Michelle Dockery. The series follows Eddie Halstead, played by James, an aristocrat who inherits his father's estate only to discover it is sitting on top of a marijuana empire owned by Mickey Pearson, played by McConaughey, in the film. James' uh, casting was announced in November 2022. Giancarlo Esposito and Vinnie Jones also star. Jones previously collaborated with Rishi on Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch. The Gentleman series is created, written, and directed and executive produced by Rishi. The show premieres on Netflix in 2024. James is known for playing Tobias Four Eaton in the Divergent movies and recently played Cameron Sullivan in The White Lotus Season 2 while Scaladario portrayed Teresa in the Maze Runner films. Pandora Knox is the first cis woman champion in drag race franchise history. The Vienna-based performer was crowned champion in the inaugural season of Drag Race Germany on Tuesday. Knox went up against uh, Metamore Kid and Yvonne Nightstand in the finale. The trio of contestants performed a lip sync dance number to RuPaul's Call Me Mother and brought their best drag looks to the runway. Knox said in her victory speech, It's really extremely overwhelming because I'm not just the first winner of Drag Race Germany, but also the first cis woman. To everybody out there, I think this is the best example that if ever if something seems impossible, you can still dream, and dreams sometimes do come true. So go for it. Thank you. She added in a, in a confession. Knox is the third cis woman to compete in the drag race following Victoria Schoon from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 3, Canada's uh, Drag Race Canada versus The World, and Clove Bish from Drag Race España Season 3. Drag Race Germany is hosted by Barbie Breakout and Johnny Jovanich and features Breakout, Jovanich, and Diane Brill as judges. The show is the latest international spinoff of RuPaul's Drag Race. Ne Fatato and former Real Housewives of New York star Luann De La Zippies will appear as guest judges in Canada's Drag Race Season 4. Disney Plus has passed on making a second season of its musical comedy series, Muppets Mayhem. Um, show creator Adam E. Goldberg said on Tuesday, huge thanks to the critics and fan love that got us six Emmy nominations and the number one Billboard Al Mayhem was truly the most joyful and collaborative experience of my career. From day one, all I care about was creating a Muppets verse, and yes, I am already cooking up more Muppets with at Bill Beretta and Jeff Yorks. It's happening. The series starred Lily Singh and Taj Mahari as music lovers trying to help laid-back rock stars Dr. Teeve and the Electric Mayhem voiced by Beretta, David Goltz, Matt Vogel, Eric Jacobson, and Dave Rudman record their first album. The streaming service also recently canceled plans for the Spiderwick Chronicles and declined to renew the series National Treasure, Doogie Kaha Aloha, MD, Willow, Big Shot, and Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Dancing with the Stars contestants performed to Taylor Swift songs Tuesday on the ABC competition series. The show hosted its first ever celebration of Taylor Swift, a special Taylor Swift theme episode featuring the singer's music. The opening number was a choreographed dance set to Swift song's Love Story. The couples, Harry Jowsey and Reilly Arno, Gio Gomez and Val Chermanensky, Allison Hannigan and Sasha Farber, Charity Lawson and Armin Chikonestev, 
uh, Aaron Maddox and Pasha Pashjoff and Jason Mraz and Danielle uh, Karaj then performed individual routines. Maddox and Pashjoff performed a Ruma to Swiss's uh, Cruel Summer, while Mraz and Karaj danced to an Argentine tango to Swift's Don't Blame Me. Swift had shared a special message to the cast last week. She said, I can't wait to see Dancing with the Stars celebration of my eras next week. I wish I could be there with you guys, but I'm on tour in Brazil. I'll be there in spirit, and I'll be watching. Longtime Dancing with the Stars choreographer and lead eras tour choreographer Mandy Moore appeared on the show as a special guest judge. Jazzy and Arnold were ultimately eliminated Tuesday, leaving five remaining couples. Dancing with the Stars Season 32 airs Tuesdays on NBC. It is also available to stream on Disney+. Plus. Swift is in, is in a South American leg of her era's tour and will next perform Friday at São Paulo, Brazil. The Way Home will return for a second season in January. The Hallmark Channel announced a season two premiere date, January 21st, for the drama series Tuesday. The Way Home is a time-traveling drama following three generations of women in the Landry family, teenager Allie, played by Sadie Alephinette Snow, her mother Kat, played by Sheller Lee, and Kat's mother Del, played by Andy McDowell. Season 2 will further explore the mystery of Jake Landry, played by Remy Smith, Kat's younger brother, who went missing. Um, the Hallmark Channel said on social media, Are you ready to find out what happened to Jacob Landry? Mark your calendars, the Landrys are back, and ready to solve the family mystery. Season 2 of At The Way Home, H.C., returns on January 21st with hashtag Andy McDowell at, at uh, Sil Criley Lee and at Sadie Snow. The Way Home was renewed for Season 2 in March. The Hallmark Media SVEP of Development, Lauren Furneau, said in a statement to Deadline, We all fell in love with the Landry women and their complex emotional story and are thrilled that it resonates strongly with viewers. We can't wait for fans to continue this journey, which is filled with more heartfelt drama, emotion, and mystery. Season 2 does not disappoint. The Way Home is created by Heather Conleal, Alexandra Clark, and Marley Reed, and also stars Evan Williams, Jefferson Brown, um, Al Mudadam, David Webster, and Siddharth Sharma. Percy Jackson star Logan Lerman is engaged to be married. The 31-year-old actor recently got engaged to his girlfriend Anna Corrigan. Corrigan shared the news Tuesday on Instagram alongside photo booth snaps with Lerman and a video of her engagement ring. She captioned the post, That's Mr. Logie to you. Lerman responded in the comments writing, Love you, sweetheart. Actresses Joey King and Anna Sophia Robb celebrated the couple on social media. Lerman and Corrigan have been together for several years. Lerman called Corgan his best friend while celebrating her birthday in December 2021. He said at the time, she truly makes every day better and brighter. I wake up every morning feeling like the luckiest guy in the world knowing I have this one in my life. Lerman is known for playing Percy Jackson in the Percy Jackson movies and Jonah had the bomb on Hunters. He recently appeared in the film Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. Disney Plus is developing Percy Jackson in the Olympian series starring Walker Scoble. Love is Blind Bliss, Puerto Riza Dazid, and Zach Adiakowski have a baby on the way. The season four stars announced Tuesday that they are expecting their first child together. In an interview with People, the couple said Puriti Zadi is expecting to give birth in the spring 2024. Uh, Pirta Zadi said, It's a little bit nerve-wracking, but I think it's, it's also such a beautiful thing. Babies are miracles and blessings, and I think we've been so open to share our journey and our relationship with the world, and this is our next big beautiful thing. I'm really happy, and I hope that it brings joy to other people. It's definitely brought us a ton of joy. Uh, Pirta Zadi and Goyakatsky confirmed the news on social media with Pirta Zadi calling her pregnancy the greatest uh, blessing and best adventure yet. This fellow season four stars Chelsea Griffin and Kwame Apaith were among those to congratulate the couple online. Pyotr Zati and Gagwatsky met in season four of Love and Blind, a daily reality series featuring singles who are able to date but not see each other while sequestered in pods. 
The couples meet face to face for the first time after getting engaged and then live together until their wedding day. Season 5 concluded in October. In other Love is Blind news, Season 1 star Gianni Gabelli is expecting her first child with Bachelor Nation star Blake Hortzman. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade will return Thursday. The 97th Annual Parade will take place in New York City and air at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC. Today, anchors Savannah Guthrie, Hoda Kabi, and Al Roker will host the event. John Baptiste will kick off the parade with Cher also to perform. NBC Universal Media Group EVP of Live Events and Special, Jen Neal, previously said, There's nothing quite like the pageantry of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to bring both families together and welcome the holiday season. We're truly proud and honored to be the home of such an iconic event that so many people look forward to watching with their friends and loved ones. The Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade will air at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, on NBC and Telemundo. The show will also be available to stream on Peacock. Uh, Belva DeVoe, Brandy, Chicago, and Vogue, David Foster, Catherine McPhee, Jesse James Decker, Ashley Park, and Sesame Street, The Muppets, Penetronics, Paul Russell, Amanda Shaw, and Alexa Smith, um, Manuel Terizo, and K-pop group, uh, and Hyphen will also be making appearances. The new balloons include Beagle Scout Snoopy, Poe mm-hmm. from Kung Fu Panda, uh, Lo from Leo's, Monkey D, Luffy from One Piece, and the Pillsbury Doughboy. The National Dog Show will return Thursday on Thanksgiving. The 22nd annual TV event will air at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC and also live stream on Peacock. The National Dog Show is hosted by the Kennel Club of Philadelphia at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, Pennsylvania. The competition first took place in 1879 as the Kennel Club of Philadelphia Dog Show. Uh, today, the show features up to 2,000 of the top American kennel uh, club sanctioned dogs from across the country, according to the National Dog Show's website. 205 breeds and varieties are eligible to compete for best of breed, first in group, and the coveted title of best in show. Each day brings different competitions and attractions. John O'Hurley and David Frey will host the show with Maria Carrillo providing commentary. The participants... Uh, the, the seven groups of dogs competing for best in show are Terrier, Toy, Working, Sports, Sporting, Hound, Non-Sporting, and Herring. Last week's best in show winner was Winston, a three-year-old French bulldog. And finally, here are the top ten songs on the Billboard Hot 100 single charts for the week of November 25th. Number 10, Morgan Wallen with Thinking About Me. Number 9, Morgan Wallen with Last Night. Number eight, Tate McRae with Greedy. Number seven, Luke Combs with Fast Car. Number six, um, I Remember Everything by Zach Bryan and featuring Macy uh, Muff Graves. Number five, Taylor Swift with Is It Over Now, Taylor's Version. Number four, SZA with Snooze. Number three, Doja Cat with Paint the Town Red. Number two, Jack Harlow with Loving On Me. And the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 single charts for the week of November 25th is Taylor Swift with Cruel Summer. And that is your entertainment report for Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great Thanksgiving weekend. Good night, and God bless you all.